Good evening. Quick video for you guys. I had an issue where I had to take the free space at the beginning of a hard drive and put it at the end so that I could upgrade that hard drive to dynamic disk to create RAID. Um, there was an issue and when I put the hard drive back in my machine, it was a Windows 10, um, it would not boot. It said it needed to be repaired. Loaded a Windows 10 CD, did repair, could not fix it. So out of desperation, I was just going to reload Windows. I put my Windows 10 CD in, went to type the key code in, and realized it was a Windows 7 professional key code. So I was like, damn it, now i got to go back and re reload Windows 7, and then upgrade to Windows 10, and complete nightmare. So I did it. I put the Windows 7 CD in, went, and I figured, you know what, what the hell. This thing had Windows 7 on it, we upgraded it to 10. Hit the repair on the Windows 7. It said it found startup problems. Would I like to fix it? Hit yes. It rebooted and went back into Windows 10. So if you're having problems with a Windows 10 machine that originally had Windows 7 installed on it, but you upgraded it to 10, and it's saying it needs a uh, startup repair, try doing a startup repair using a Windows 7 CD. It worked for me, even though I didn't even think it would. Um, it was a last-ditch effort. So once again, Root of the problem, Windows 10, it was originally Windows 7, you upgraded to 10, something happened, now it needs a startup repair, it won't work with a Windows 10 installer, try a Windows 7 CD or a Windows 7 installer, try to start a repair, it worked for me, good luck.